All right, and I'm back. So this video hopefully won't be too long behind the last one since it didn't get too much done. Since I'm only doing an hour and a half at a time. But I'm breaking them up because it's just faster with the rendering and it's mainly the upload speed. I have 400 megabits per second download and 15 upload. It sucks. <laughs> It's, it's fine for streaming um, and high quality, but it sucks for loading to YouTube. I really miss my old connection when I was in Japan. I had fiber up and it was 100 up. I mean, 100 download and 50 upload. And it was so fast. And of course, back then I didn't have 4K. <laughs> All right. So let's... Uh, uh, we picked up the Dedalian Keys quest. Um, might go ahead and search out the castle and do that. Sometimes that takes some time. Uh, we have the flight test. We're going to do that. Then we're going to get to Pulso and then meet Sebastian and then do the delivery. The Dedalian Keys will take some time. I think we have to find the first one first and then it lets us find the rest of them. Um, I think that's the way it's doing it. Um, I don't remember it being like that the first time I did the quest, because I think I just ran upon them just randomly, for like right after I picked up the quest. But we'll get them done. Grab it selected. Flight selected. We are going to the astronomy. It's going to be above. Let's see, where is this going to be? That looks like the place where the key is going to go. Alright. So normally, I'm pretty sure most of the keys are above. And they're always... Yeah, there it is. They're always going to be in a spot where you do not have to go through doors. I, where it might lead me. I believe. Like closed doors. Then, the How do I get this key? then you have to time it when it goes across in front of the lock and smack it. Yes. And it sucks when you miss because then you sit, sit there and wait for another one. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Probably should have just flew powdered there. Able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like a Gryffindor house token. I'd better unlock our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go and pop it into the trunk. Gryffindor hat coming up, and then you're gonna see <laughs> the the part that makes this quest tedious. 
that's here is the chest. I should see this through and find the Gryffindor house. And we had a token. See, seems I'll and need to find more house tokens oops. if I'm to open this. Look at that. <laughs> Quite a few by the look of it. There's a lot of them. 15, I believe. Yeah, 16. So we got 15. Rebellion. Yeah. Hey, there's a snitch. Accio. Guess they make it so you can't Accio snitches. That would be kind of cheap in uh, the game. Rebellion. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't pick that up. Rebellion. Here. There it is. All right. And boom. Follow. Straight to that closest one. That's it. There's not a guiding book for this. Incendio. <laughs> Rebellion.
Send you. Rebellion. This is where Harry hid. That night. That is a long rundown. But I think I'm just gonna do those as I come along them. Cause there are so many of them and I can't remember where all of them are. I just happen to come upon them while doing quest. It's not like it's a huge reward. It's a pretty neat thing. I like having it because it kind of fits in for the winter uh, season of the game. So we are gonna go out and be flying. He yeah, has a pretty cool looking room. And you can actually change the uh, look of the room. Once you get another broom upgrade, or a broom, you can change the uh, look of it. Scene right here. Where are you? Rebellious. saying it wrong. Ugh. Revelia. <laughs> Much better. Oh, shut up. Wait. Accio. Uh, <laughs> he's ruined my entire school year. I hope a puff scheme goes up his nose and snaps his brain. It had poisoned the poor beast. What sort of headmaster doesn't allow sports? Deserves to be an Azkaban. That would suit him. Oh, if Black was an Azkaban, I should pity the Dementors. The man has no <laughs> soul to take. Besides, Azkaban wouldn't suit Black. Not enough mirrors. <laughs> Hey you, Gryffindor. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. She's definitely the stereotype, kind of Slytherin, but she's not evil, at least. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. She gives you shit too when you're in Slytherin too. The flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see she if you can She kind of doubts your Slytherinness, I guess. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. You get to these little yellow things to give you more boost. Excellent.
And I'm going to miss half of them. I'm a best time, but not bad. See that? Oh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh, fine. You won. <laughs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. Blame her. She's so you obsessed with uh, Quidditch, and she again. doesn't have it anymore. So this is kind of the only the thing she is. has. Kind of like a you can check your methadone for Quidditch. Race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. All right. Let's see. I want to see what the records were. Look at this. Second. So somebody was still faster than me by two seconds. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. And time to go to Hogs Meet and turn this quest in. That's the boarded up shop. The uh Rebellion later. <laughs> Down with the wood and poachers. Surprised they haven't tried to kill him yet. With something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Mm, drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome, runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. 
course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without him? <laughs> Siestas are awesome. I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. All right. How to address the issue of I am going to go ahead and get seeds for planting the company cabinets. <laughs> Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? But we've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the Huffle one. Hufflepuff and a raven? Stealing? Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pets going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir. We'd never take more than those. I tell you this. They'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. That was a bit harsh. <laughs> Revelio. Open. You be sure to stop by soon. Yeah. Revelio. That's right, because I remember pointing out that chest that I've never seen before. And we can't mount here. Oh, well. This is neat. I can't remember where the, this little house was before. Like a hobbit hole. What's funny is that even this gets more difficult when you crank up the difficulty. It's super easy, like on the next what step. What are you down. doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game, it's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever changing game. I fear. Smooth. Let's pull this one. My, uh, my wand slipped. I fear. Oh, come on. Ugh, we kind of blocked our 
ourselves in. Not hit that. There we go. That was one for the ages. I hear. Try to beat I should that. be able to knock my next one into a higher point. That didn't hit it hard enough. Oh well. Well done. You beat me. <laughs> Definitely not my best. Bit of good luck. That's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others so they're going to take your word for the fact that I'm good? If you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Game is definitely skewed for whoever goes second because it's so easy to just knock people off and get rid of their points. And if you're going last, you know how many points you need, so you know if you need to take a risk or not. All right, so sharp's assignment. Weasley didn't screw up a potion. How are your assignments coming along? Rebellion. Seconds. I completed your assignments, Professor. Oh, yeah, I need to go Good. plant stuff in the. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Uh, this, I actually really you like this. Practice, uh, and I think you should spell. Perhaps best not to go Just flinging your class really into fun. the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Accio. Also. Well done. Let I'm glad to see that you can incendio. Also. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Revelio. Alright, let's go to the room requirement. Whoop. I just heard a thing fly. There we are. Heck, it's that. It's like a 
giant rhino beetle. A rhino rhino beetle. All right, room of requirement. To get the room requirement, you have to click on this little thing up here for secret rooms. Same thing with the map chamber. set up my potting stations for my attack plants. Large. center it. One more Chinese And then I'm still. See, these take 15 minutes to grow, so I always make sure that I have a batch going. Those are so quick. It's almost by the time I go get the other ones set up, they're ready. potions. Increases Chinese chomping cabbage damage. That's good. Oh, yeah. Room upgrades. And there it is. Actually, that's funny. Let's get it with the uh, Dark Arts thing. I thought you got it when you bought the other one. But this one is almost just like the one that cost 2,000 Italians. It's just uh, this metal thing is slightly longer in this one and the handle's slightly different. I think it looks kind of stupid but I like the trail and stuff it makes. This one still looks so much better. But I'm gonna use that one today. And if I've done any more challenges. to the um, Undercroft. I guess I can stop spoiling it before we get there. Just 
really like this room. It just looks so cool. Like the ceiling. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. Ah, that's that one. Ah, uh, yeah. I've got those. Oh, wait, did I buy those potions? Oh, that, uh, I think I forgot to buy them when I bought all the other ones. But I've actually got to use one of them against enemies, so I'll pick that one up before I do the Delivery doesn't involve fighting anybody, but there's a quest down there that does. Typically used to cut an object. The and Defendo is a really good combo spell. You combine it with the freezing spell later. You freeze them and then you smack them with that and it does massive damage. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Another place that would get me in trouble if I went to Hogwarts, knowing about. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. It's kind of been an obvious spot, though. I mean, everybody leaving Defense Against the Dark, dark Arts would see you going in. How did you find this place? My friend. Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. From the we House used to of play Gaunt. Gobstones here all the time. With my sister. Anne. Rebellion yeah. loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't I want to jeopardize that. He would tell Ominous he's bringing me down here, because, I mean, he comes down here as much as him. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has he no comes love comes down here to all the time. All he would secrets. definitely see me coming in. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon you using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such so, spells should be is properly taught, year, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Like a Z.
You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? This is one of my more favorite spells. I think Bombarda's more fun. I normally keep that on a more ranged spot. Stick to the targets, though. Reveille to keep the Undercroft intact. Good for you. Have those candelabras. Both have their youth. Nice work. How's it feel? That's it. I think I've got well it done. Revelio. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more. Yeah, I say, as I said, it was dangerous. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do, perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? Oh, I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, <laughs> I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic. It's amazing. That hardly anyone else what can. is it? Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. I see this part up here. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it was just a little different coming when you're playing uh, Slytherin, because you meet both him and Ominous before all of this. You meet him in the first day. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room is called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. 
Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. See that Sebastian part right there. Going to get an earful about this. Threw me off because when you meet him, Slytherin, it's, you know, he tells you about his background and stuff and he seems really nice. But I'll save that if you want to watch somebody play through Slytherin because it's, it's a little more to it. Than As one thing about the replayability of this game is you get so much more by playing all, at least the first, I would say, third of the game. You get quite a few extras by doing different uh, houses. Okay, so we got to get a Thunder Brew and an Invisibility. Right. And then we'll do... Imagine how inconvenient Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. And I have bought the items, I believe. I can do that quest she just gave me. Uh, Venomous Tentacula and use a mandrake. Okay, I'll actually be able to get that done too. So I'll just use the invisibility potion because I'm not going to be using that in battle. Uh, and the Thunder Root potion I'll use in battle along with the Mandrake and a ven Venomous Tentacula. And knock out three in one. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Wise decision. Thank you. Much of this. I don't really use them as much as I did in my first playthrough. In my first playthrough, I thought they were going to be more convenient. And I used them a lot, and they were pretty nice. But then I just got better at the guarding spells and dodging. And I mean, they're really easy to use in battle because when you hold down tab, it does pause the battle so you can swap to different potions and stuff. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Oh, I have five of them. take the scenic route <laughs> instead of taking the shortcut south of the cap. But I am going to go ahead and mark it on my map. Yeah, you see how big this map is? We've only gone down to here, and we've only gone up as far as here. So we've got this whole area up here, but then we've got this whole valley all the way down here uh, it's a pretty big map I hope that they really expand on it in the second game because I mean it's it's huge as it is but like with uh, spider-man 2 and stuff like that where they basically added like a whole section like that I mean look at they've got plenty of room to expand I mean, it looks like there is stuff over here like they did in the game. And there's more over here 
here. Oh yeah. All the way down there. And the quest we're gonna go get up after that is done. I think. I might be right there. Man, uh, that has been bothering me in the cutscenes this time. So it's only changed. Watch the trail in this purple trip. See, that was how fast the boost wore off. So I'm getting that upgrade. It's really nice. And cloud. lake is evidently really really deep think about it in the harry potter movie where they dove all the way down and it took like over an hour to get to the uh more people what i'm wondering is how they got that ship in through here They must have used some kind of magic to make this river flood. Let's see. You know, it's funny, this is back then, but look at all these crumbling castles and stuff that are still way past their prime. I mean, wonder what it would have been like at Hogwarts when this whole area was in its prime of, you know, all these castles being built and stuff like that. I mean, look at that one up there. It's like almost as big as, like, half of Hogwarts. Always late that Pippin. Revelio. She's already complaining about the potion. Oh, and I need to do like three more Merlin trails. That Pippin should have been here by now. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Oh, cutting shoot, I would have been using an invisibility for himself potion here anyway. quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Forgot about that. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. That's why I had all the extras. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and bitch. skills? Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. 
That's what annoys me is when people say they had the shops handed to them and stuff like that. Like the kid, they didn't grow up working in that shop their entire life. And then it was given to them. He mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them. But certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. So she sells to villains. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Or do people avoiding things? Let's what see do what you have to say? <laughs> and all she has is Edoras potions. I mean, Wiganweb potions. Thank you for stopping in. Revelio. I appreciate it. Always been keen on keen bridge. Hey, there's a murder. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. This pet push it right through her shop. Because I'm not putting any points in the dark arts like normally I'd have Expelliarmus, these two, this, and this, and this, and this. <laughs> so that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. So I'm gonna have seven points extra towards the end. shops nearly as often.
Revelio. Oh yeah, I'm doing Revelio while you're flying. It reveals everything you can see, basically. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. What is it? What's ah, wrong? Never noticed Goblins. this before. That's what. Radrocks lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. I don't have any of that. Perhaps you could try in Hogsmeade or one of the hamlets. And get extorted by the Ashwinders? No, thank you. If you won't help me, I shall have to take my chances, won't I? How am I to avoid Ranrock's lot? So I've got to get him a maximum potion. Can I get any quest? I guess not. I've never run into him before. Discovering something new every time. Revelio. Ah, uh, yeah, there's the windmill and there's the quest up there. See the landmark that I'm going to be going to. I should investigate. Fascinating, truly fascinating. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again, I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested, and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I don't think he would have done too well with it. to hear what, if anything, you find. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Revelio. I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Wand handles around here. Maybe not. Revelio. This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Anything else? There's nothing but what? Why are there some really, vases yeah. around here? All these vases, and they have little uh, crossed wands on them. Break them off. I suppose I should try to find all the vases. 
Revelio. Should only be a few more vultures. Rebellion. I'm nearly finished. One more vault. Not ominous looking at all. That's it. I should tell Madame Twiddle about what happened. All right, here we go. I'm really thinking about swapping. Battle Arena. Simon's all finished. Lumos. 
I think I actually do that a little later. <laughs> I think I normally have Defender before I do that normally. Just having that extra long range attack that actually works on trolls makes a huge difference. Incendio! Rebellion. But I mainly did that because I like this freaking uh, transpon. <laughs> Just a cool outfit. Cabbages, all my, all my venice, just tentacular. Rebellion. Wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. What do you have in store for me this time? Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate... Another thing, not having the uh, curse on Expelliarmus well, and the extra damage to curse oh, enemies made that take like longer, too. Around ...with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about oh, that. Do one hand. I forgot about that. Mm. All right, so we finished the delivery. I'll grab a maxima potion and go back to that other place too. Yep, I finished that quest, finished that quest, finished that quest. Just turned in a quest. Time to go to her quest. We 
have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book... <laughs> like he calls her a witch, but it's not an insult. It's Might it be useful to you? Title. Is this Fatima's recipe book? Wait, where did I find that? I don't remember coming across that. Oh, I had no idea it was hers. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. Where did I find that? I don't remember finding that. Oh, maybe it was in that chest that was behind her. <laughs> A wise decision. Thank you. The Thunderbrew potion was pretty uh, handy. Of course, the Edoras potion would have made me a lot tougher. I know. I'm oh, going to start using decision. potions again, too. Thank you. I'm not doing the dark arts. I mean, do more damage. Oof, that really cut into my money. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Now, let's see if I can give this guy that maxima potion. Nice to see you, my young friend. He's here. What is it? What's wrong? Goblins! That's what. I need a little something. Something to protect me. You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here. Use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> <laughs> and I've you to thank. Oh. Please. Accept this gift in exchange for your help. Not bad. All right, let's go check my potions. Oops, that's a move. Ah, uh, sure. So I can make three more of these.
Revelio. Wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. Regard me, I'm Leviosa. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Well done! Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set for you in the next room. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach Herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old Herbology professor, He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh, dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never <laughs> right out of cared, high school. really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast <laughs> gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology. <laughs> she thinks about the professor well, saying. Not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage. So it was back to St. Mungo's for him. He's lucky to still have his feet. Hmm. Laugh. <laughs> Fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. <laughs> Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula, and, well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm kind of wondering if she had something to do with that. I mean, she got herself a job right away. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Ha! Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Oh, yeah. So, this is Wingardium Leviosa. It's hidden stuff under. Now, there is a trick where you don't have to put that on your bar. So all you gotta do is do this, and it becomes Wingardium Leviosa once it comes to you. You can move it around just like you cast it, Wingardium Leviosa. So, you don't actually need it on your bar. So I save it for something else. Well, when I have other spells to use. But now for now. Accio, Wingardium Leviosa. Accio, Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Accio, Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion.
Nice for early these potions. And I don't think these venomous tentacula and stuff repro in the other greenhouse. Just a one time thing. Rebellion. Yeah, they're all gone. Gobstones and then to the map chamber. Revelio. God, I can't do dodge teleports inside the school. Rebellion. Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Interesting, sir. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on this. <laughs> All these red spells. I would encourage you once again. Real long range one send one bar for you. For your sake and that of everyone else. It's for the office. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually keeps. Findo does better on combos than just straight up slamming stuff. Like I said, it works really great with the freezing spell. Levioso. As I mentioned earlier, defend Good for you. Good to see you continuing to practice. Levioso. Accio. It's a new one. Good also. Good for you. Defend Does have a long cooldown. Let's see what else he has to say. Professor Sharp, do you have a moment? Depends on how you intend to use it. <laughs> I saw an aura badge on your desk and was wondering if you could tell me more about your time as an aura. Mm, observant. I suppose I could indulge you for a moment. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. That sounds positively exhilarating. Exhilarating? Hmm, it was at that. When it lasted, at any rate. I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. However, success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. 
One overstep in battle changed everything. May I ask what happened? Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough, trying to smuggle shrunken heads of all things. I had deduced that he was working alone. I was mistaken, and they knew we were coming. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well, I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. Uh, I, I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm sorry. <sighs> it is at that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart until you consume the wrong one. Well said, Professor. Damn. Actually never heard him talk about that before. All right, let's go find these cops. A little something not as serious. Yeah, whoever hid these gobstones was a pretty was a pretty big prick. I mean, they really did not want her to get them back. I mean, all they had to do was not play with her. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I think I already found that. Oh, there's a key. It's hard to track if you don't know. Rebellious. But I think it's right over here. That's why it pays to know where they are because they always go to the closest one. I like these, uh, the disappearing staircase like this, but it's not as uh, complicated as it was like in the movie. In the movie, it literally changed which tower and stuff you were going to, which I thought made more sense about getting lost on it. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Control alarm. More likely to get confused and smashed. Handy resources. Rebellion. Your field guide. Accio. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. And there is the goblet of fire. Rebellion. Would you like to learn the knockback jitsu Nintendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Uh, and speaking of Miss Garland, 
Or Professor Garley. Mirabil Garley. Revelio. This one's funny. It's a house elf armor set. This armor set was for a house elf who is rumored to have been made by a cruel wizard who wanted his elf to protect him in battle. Happily, the wizard was too dense to realize that armor could, in fact, be considered clothing. The moment the elf donned it, he disapparated right out of it, never to be seen again. I'd better Spoo keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. This one's also funny. It's a centaur armor. This unique set of armor was created as a misguided peace offering to a centaur leader. The gift was spurned, and the messenger shot through the leg with an arrow. The armor itself, battered with hoof marks, was later recovered and refurbished. Plus two seventeen five six one two three four five six three zero and the next one is let's see one two three plus nine twelve seven. I don't know if that's really what they are. That's just kind of what it looks like to me. It's funny as you're supposed to stumble upon the arithmancy room where it has the code book. But, you know, you can kind of figure it out as... That's how I just figured it out. Trial and error, and then I realized that this... Um, Kimmy guys was a zero and not a one. And that's what it threw me off the first time I tried doing them. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Keep an eye on high places while I run down the street. Rebellion. in the raft. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Oh, Accio. Revelio. This is recognized from the book is the um, divination. I'll be getting the books. Here, that's what's causing the demon. You can't imagine how many students we've had away before. And there we are. Akio! I'm just one more gobstone.
think this quest was really designed to get you to go around the castle and get all the uh, flu network stuff. Basically, it's basically a tour of most of the areas you need to go to for the quest. Aside from a few. I get it so early on, right after you get uh, Akia. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Glad to hear him stop saying that. No, it's just here. I don't know why it made me come all the way back. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's oh, gobstones. Yeah, I was right there. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Amazing. We haven't even gotten to uh, our past fall yet. Let's see how many hours we can get. Seven hours. It's because of goofing off doing side quests and stuff. But yeah, if you rush through the main stories, you can uh, half that at least. Like I said, I keep finding stuff. Every once in a while, just out in the open that I haven't done. I think my Raven Claw one was, it's the most recent one I did, and it was the closest I've come to actually completing the book. First time I played through, I was really interested in the main story, and I kind of skipped some of the stuff. But I did all the stuff with I the students in the school. I hope you did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course, they are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones Just don't tell back, the other students I'm the one again. anyone back. in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Nope, and a wand handle that I won't be using. Not very. It's neat. I guess if you had like a white wand, it would go pretty well with it. I can't remember where I found my favorite ones. They like look like uh, kind of like a saber hill. Grow and harvest flux weed, so I gotta go get some flux weed. I'll acquire all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. Okay, so I've gotta get another uh, mandrake. So I'll go ahead and do that.
we have three places where you can come in on Hogsmeade. I think they put one further up here. Although that isn't that far. Welcome. Come on in, come on in. Now I gotta get a magic neat to get flux weed. Tread carefully in here. <gasps> Venomous tentacula. But then I'd use losing pot. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you go far. I'm gonna go identify that. Doors street. always open. You be sure to stop by soon. I'm gonna have to sell at least those two. Artukas. Oh, and I think there is a 500 Italian chest that I haven't got to. That's that rope that I got for doing that uh, treasure thing. That's the one that came from pre-orders. And this one is from the deluxe edition. That's pretty cool. Came with the uh, mask. Normally I have more house ropes for this dude. Off on another adventure, are we? Please take your time looking about. Yes. Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. You have a good head for business, haven't you? Oh yeah, I have plenty. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Got to see what that requires to grow. Large pot. Oh, okay. I've got large pots. We don't have to take them. Yeah. <laughs> 
15 minutes for that. Quest one. Carry 25 potions at once. It's uh, almost max. Alright, we'll spit in one more quest. Just in this building. Flipendo and then the map chamber. Alright, I think I can do Flipendo and then the map chamber. Oh no, I can't because I've got to wait for that flux week to harvest. So, and I've got to use all the plants at the same time. I don't. It doesn't even say in battle though, so I could just probably just chuck them out. I'm gonna go and do that. Rebellion. In the middle of the night, so I'm gonna go. I was Peace. hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt and- You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say yes. that. Yes, and then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw. He was a student a here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. To think it was beneath us all this time. You can see that magic. Certainly notices the floor chain. I felt like you could have like a floor like that in real life. Freak the hell out of visitors. 
the map, there's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts Everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young, young friend, friend. Do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. It's a transformer. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. <laughs> that was always kind of a suspicious thing. Don't tell anyone. And then I tell all the friends anyway. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna check my talents and then that's gonna be it for this. Late 
right. That's pretty much it. Hmm. We're slicing through things. We've knocked back a bunch of people. And I wish I could. I'm going to be using Maxima. So yeah, I'm gonna have to call it for now. All right, till next time.